Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another glorious day in the garden. The sun is shining, I am happy to paint, and we have something new to play with. Today, we are testing out the Leaky Cup from Massey Art Studios. This is developed, Jeremy Massey actually came up with this idea about a year ago, and they've spent a long time doing product development, and they've been 3D printing them, and they're pretty cool. So the concept behind this is similar to a colander, but it's very neat because it's raised up. So you actually get, you pour the paint in here and then you have it dripping through. And the cool thing about this one is the center part is actually raised. So it pushes the paint down into the holes. So we are going to be using this 20 inch round. I have taped the back and I put it on my Erica Hughes art spinner. And we're going to be hoping that we're centered. <laughs> And we're gonna do this. So let me show you my colors real quick. That's what we're playing with, the Leaky Cup. If you're interested in a Leaky Cup from Massey Art Studio, you can go to their website at MasseyArtStudio.com and check it out. So this is a lot of fun. Okay, so colors, let's move that out of the way first. Um, when I'm testing something, I like to use my favorite colors because then I know how they're gonna behave and I can sort of gauge what's, what's doing what based on how they're working. So. The first one we're using is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, which I love this, and it dries very nice and dark, which is awesome. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Paint and Floetrol today. Uh, Lee and Jeremy had said, have no mound, pretty much just sinking into the cup, but I don't wanna go thinner than this. So this is my almost no mound. <laughs> so that's our... Huh? Your compromise. My compromise, right? This is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And then I have Amsterdam Greenish Blue. Which I really love this color. It's just so pretty. It's a very happy color. This one's a, a touch thicker. But again, I don't want to thin it out any more than this. So this is our Greenish Blue from Amsterdam. Then we are using Folk Art Treasure Gold series in Aquamarine. Yeah, Aquamarine. And this is the one that actually kind of dictated what my consistency was going to be like because I didn't want to thin this one out any more than this, so I got everything else to that point. That's the Aquamarine from Treasure Gold series, Folk Art Treasure Gold. So that's the Treasure Gold. Then we have here Amsterdam Titanium White with just a little tiny bit, maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of my Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White. And this one is just a smidge thicker than everything else because I don't want it to spread too much. So we are going to be using smaller layers of this. And then last but not least, I have my favorite blingy friend, my DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Shimmery shiny. <laughs> okay. So we have a base coat of the permanent blue violet, which we are going to put down right now. So I have taped the back of the 20 inch round just to keep the back clean because I think this one's going to turn out really, really pretty. Okay. Spin, spin it to see if it's centered and you come on this. I think when you spin it from the bottom, it makes it slide a little bit. Maybe you should glue it down with some paint. Yeah, I'll put some paint on the bottom in here. Erica's going to turn purple. <laughs> oh, this helps us keep it centered as much as possible. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, we're going to go with that. So I'm going to put down this base coat. Spin this out. Like this. 
it is going to go off the edge, so I'm not really, really worried about it. But I did want to coat of paint on there first. I haven't gessoed this or primed it or anything like this. But since we are going to be using paint on here, I'm not real worried about it. I'm going to give it one more good spin. I pushed it off center completely. <laughs> Right. My advice is instead of when you do, want to do a hard spin, instead of going whoosh, go whoosh, you know, like build up to it so okay. it can spin underneath it. Alright. We're going to torch this and then I have a very scientific method of finding the center. <laughs> We have a piece of string. <laughs> Favorite tool of mathematicians all over the world. So we're just going to go one side to side and have that leave a mark. And then we're going to go one more. Ta da! <laughs> and we're going to put our leaky cup right in the middle. How'd you like that, H2A, huh? Mm. huh? Very nice. Okay. All right, we're going to start with, um, so I saw Lee and Jeremy do this in their video where they premiered Leaky Cup, and Lee kind of poured his colors pretty fast, whereas Jeremy was a little more methodical and slower and waited for them to drain out, and I think I liked that presentation a little bit better, so that's what we're going to do. And the interesting thing is this kind of reminds me of, we did a Very Merry Christmas collaboration, and Sarah Mack, the stinker, sent me a colander, <laughs> and I ended up using it similar to this actually so it's kind of fun okay we're gonna actually start with some of my aquamarine now i've never used this before so you'll be learning right along with me we're gonna put a layer in there and hopefully it's gonna be easy see it's dripping out nice that's good uh we're gonna come in with a little bit of the white I have this urge to like go around it, but I guess since you put it, just pour it right on the center nubbin, then it all drops down by itself. That's really pretty. Okay, we're gonna come into the greenish blue now. Maybe you should rotate it. You just want to see the pretty effects on that side. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put a little bit of gold on there. Okay. Now we're going to come into the greenish blue again. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white again. Those effects are gorgeous. Um, let's use some of our Treasure Gold series in the Aquamarine. Gold. Is there such a thing as a little bit of gold each way? Not for you. <laughs> We're gonna come back to our blue violet. I'm watching it. Mm, pretty. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of white. And then some of our greenish blue again. Such a beautiful effect. Wonder if it might 
might be cool sometimes to do a layered cup into there. It would blend you know, a lot. A ring pour into the thing. It would blend a lot. squeeze bottles. Greenish blue. I'm trying to give it a moment to let that paint drip out completely before I put another layer in so we maintain some of the original color intensity. with the color before and then it gets more that's pretty right, we're just gonna go right into the blue violet again and I'm gonna turn this a little bit more I think we're probably almost done now cool you remember not to have too much paint to yeah well, I think it's already going to cover the whole canvas, especially since it's thin. It's fun to play, though, that's for sure. Art therapy. It is art therapy. Very therapeutic to be able to pour and create beautiful designs with something. That's so much fun to watch. Are you getting that like super, super close up down there? Okay, I think we're gonna put one last layer of the greenish blue, kind of a thicker layer, to sort of clean out the cup too. And now I've changed my mind and I wanna put something contrasting on there. Let's go with a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna do it with the stick this time and go around the edge. drips. That's really pretty. <laughs> is actually really, really pretty. I don't think you need to do anything to it. No, I'm going to torch it. Alright, now we're going to give this a very gentle spin. stretch out the center a little bit more though so I'm going to spin it again I'm really, really happy with how this looks. I think it's beautiful. I love the sort of stained glass look that we're getting. Um, we did stretch out the center a lot, so obviously I didn't need nearly as much paint as I put on there, but 
you know, it is fun to play and art is therapy. So I encourage you all to play and have a good time and try new things and have a good time. So I'm going to dunk this in a cup of water right now so that it can soak. And then I'm going to wash it off with cool water, not too cold, uh, but also not hot. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I will show you this one when it's dry. Thanks, Lee and Jeremy. You guys are amazing. We'll be right back. Sexy spin. All right, that's groovy. That's pretty cool. puppy what's the matter what's that we all scared you got scared of the pumpkins what's the matter come on who are you barking at him <laughs> it's okay <laughs> They're just pumpkins, Bax. It's all right, honey. He's a good boy. He's a good baby. Say hi, Baxter. Don't eat the grass. Don't do it. <laughs> You're a good boy. Yes, my... <laughs> They're just pumpkins, honey. <laughs> you silly doggo. Okie dokie. This is a couple of days later and this is totally dry. Now, you guys, this is so cute. I really, really love this flower. There's some really, really beautiful parts in here. Beautiful patterns from our leaky cup. And I love these colors, of course. Beautiful little boulder cells in there. And look how cute. I'm oh, sorry, my shadow. <laughs> look how cute these edges are. And I like that there's gold on there, but it's not like overpowering and crazy in your face. It's so pretty. This was the permanent blue violet and the greenish blue and the aquamarine and our 24 karat gold and our white. And I love that little bit of purple around the white. Oh, that really delicate meaning. It's so beautiful. I like that we kept the white just a smidge thicker so that it didn't blend quite so much so that it still stayed distinct. But this is really, really pretty. I love this. That leaky cup was so much fun. Thank you so much, Jeremy and Lee Massey from Massey Art Studios. You guys are awesome. This was a lot of fun. I had a great time with this one. So, so I turned it a little bit so you guys can see that gold glowing. <laughs> and how sparkly the aquamarine is. Really pretty stuff. So cool. Kind of stained glass looking. I really like that effect. It's really beautiful. So I might have to play with this one a little bit more and smaller layers maybe and not spin it quite as much. 
but I really like this. I think it's so pretty. Thank you for being here. Uh, I hope you guys will check out our This Little Piggy Halloween extravaganza with 15 amazing fluid artists. That's going to happen Saturday, October 23rd and Sunday, October 24th. I am going last on October 23rd on Saturday. So that'll be 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I will post a list of all of the artists for you on my community tab and on my Facebook page so you guys can make sure you don't miss anyone. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be really... <laughs> Lots of silliness. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, thanks for being here, guys. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you on Saturday. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs>